Karen, sorry with your decision to come back. What went into that, and why did you decide to come back in the end? Um, my main reason was to get my degree one, and for two, I, I feel like I can help contribute to my team another year. Was it a tough decision to go over? Because I know you, you've got more to worry about than the average player being, being married and having a, a child. You got a little bit more to, to, get, to consider with that decision. I mean, yes, it was a tough decision, but I mean, at the end of the day, I want to leave Auburn with a degree, and I love this place. So, I mean, coming back was not a bad idea for me. Was the degree the unfinished business you were referring to, or is there some on the field stuff that? I mean, yeah, it was my degree for one, and just I want to have a good, healthy season, a full, complete season. What do you think you're capable of with a full? Uh, I feel like I'm capable of doing uh, a lot more than I did this year. Did you put in to get the paperwork from the NFL, or did you even bother with that? No, I didn't even bother yet. What do you think when you heard of Kuyper and other guys having him on the top eight, ten running backs in the draft? Had you had you come out? What do you think just hearing that praise of being considered that good already? Oh uh, yeah, hearing that praise made me feel good about myself, and feel like if I come back, I can do even more than that, be better than that. So. Did you talk to Peyton at all about your decision? No, I did. How much time did you take to think about and discuss it with your family? Now, I took a little time to sit, um, sit down with my parents and my wife and talk about it, and they just said they're behind me 100% either way I go. Was it nice to be in that situation? Because coming into the season, you didn't know you would get that many carries or have that much success. Yeah, it was nice being that, in this predicament, being able to choose if I want to leave or stay. But like I said, I think coming back would be the best option for me. Do you think of yourself as one of the top running backs in the country, or that you will be next year? Yeah, I feel like I am. This, this, what's it, what's it like to to be healthy once again and, and be able to practice and, and kind of kind of go after it again? I would feel great being healthy. Um, you know, I'm 100% not run full speed, so just ready for a good bowl game. You can smell the icy hot. Oh yeah. <laughs> does it feel good to be full speed again? Yeah, it does feel. It feels great. With so many guys being back healthy at this point, is there just kind of a, a different, you know, a little bit of an extra giddy up at practice, so to speak? Yeah, it's a different vibe we have going right now. And we know everybody's healthy. Everybody moving around, flying around, so we feel good going to the bowl game. Did, did you believe coming into the season that you, were, you could be one of the best running backs in SEC? Because, you know, we hadn't gotten a chance to see you do it. I mean, I believe deep down in my mind that I could, but, I mean, everybody else haven't had the chance to see it. I just feel like I need an opportunity to show it. So you didn't surprise yourself? No. How about other people? Yeah, I surprised a lot of other people. <laughs> what have you seen from Oklahoma? Well, they're a great defense, and we just know we have to come out and execute. Can, can you tell this game for how long that people get tired of hitting 240 coming back? Yeah, um, I hear that from like my own teammates, and people are not going to want to hit you all game, stuff like that. So I know I wear down on people. Does anybody ever come up to you after a game and you're doing the handshake and actually get them tired? Oh, no. <laughs> they don't want to tell you that. Can you feel a different vibe at practice now, not only with you, but Sean and a lot of other offensive guys are, are just kind of back to where that, where it was in the middle of the year? Yeah, it's a different vibe. Uh, everyone's happy, flying around. We feel excited and you know energized about this bowl game. Cam, does it bring a, an immediate sense of confidence knowing <laughs> what you guys did when you were healthy? Yeah, well, I mean, we still didn't finish the season, even though a couple guys weren't healthy. But, yeah, the health was a big problem. Were you – I mean, how were you in the Iron Bowl physically? I, I was about 90% in the Iron Bowl, but – Not quite, not quite. Yeah, I wasn't quite 100%. Is that something that, that nagged at you at any point, like in preseason or anything like that? Was it a reoccurring thing with the, with the quad? No, it, it never happened. I never had a quad injury. I, mean, I didn't even know you can pull a quad, actually, but it happened. What is the, the pain of that for a running back, specifically Cam? I mean, it sounds kind of obvious, but I mean, just to describe it for, for what you do, just how painful was that? How detrimental is it to, to have a quad injury, specifically? Yeah, it was real painful. Um, when I first happened, I felt it pop. I thought I had a cramp or something, but it popped again, so I, I knew it was something serious. But, yeah, it was real painful. Uh, when, when were you... Back to full speed. I mean, was it? I mean, just recently, last couple of days, or or did just did you not know till you got back on the practice field? Yeah, I've been feeling fine um, recently, but I, I didn't know actually till I got out there and started running and practicing. What was what went through your mind when you were able to cut loose and, and it didn't bother you? So yeah, it's time now. Did you rehab every day after the Iron Bowl too? Oh yes, sir. With where you guys were, you know, two three games into the season, what would it mean to end the year with a Sugar Bowl win? It means a lot to us. Um, we know we fought, we fought hard as we could, and we earned it. Like our motto said. 
We feel like uh, this game could be kind of like a launching point for all you guys coming back in 2017 on the offensive side of the ball. Yeah, I think this game will be a um, big momentum game for us going into the 2017 season, just seeing where we're at. You had a chance to meet the new quarterback that you guys signed, Jared Stidham. What do you think of him? I think he's a pretty good dude. Um, he's, he's a good dude, good athlete. He seems like he's ready to work when he get here. Yeah, you looking forward to seeing that competition heating back up again this spring between him and Sean and the others? Oh yeah, I think it'll be a great quarterback competition. You have a favorite? No, not really. <laughs>